Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I can finally show you some of the things that are coming to Procreate 4. I'm testing everything out in Procreate 4 public beta, so things may change. So let's get to the video. So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, what's new in Procreate 4, and this is the public beta. And you can see that uh, because I'm now running iOS 11 beta, and when you swipe up, you see that, you know, the interface of iOS has changed a little bit. I'm just not going to go into that, but, you know, it is a little bit different, and Procreate 4 is built up on that. And I'm using... Um, the public beta and you can check that because I'm now in test flight. I'm now testing out Procreate 4 public beta and it's version 18438. This build was released on 24th of August 2017. So things might change and I'm just going to open up Procreate 4 public beta and it's up here. And the first thing you see is that the, the gallery has changed a little bit. You can now select certain things. So here you have all your canvases in the library and you can select them by just tapping on it and then you can stack them. So these are my artworks and then when you press on stack, you will uh, put them in a stack. It used to be called a group and you can also rename your stack and I just call this Stave Art. Done. So then you're done with selecting and then press the, the X on the upper right corner. And then you're out of edit mode. And here you can open up your stack, which used to be called a group. First going to open up this file and as you already can see, um, the performance of Procreate 4 is a lot faster. And I'm testing this out on an iPad Pro 2017, 512 gigabytes. And you can also uh, use Procreate on older iPads as well but I have installed iOS 11 beta on this iPad and just to test out Procreate 4 public beta. The thing I'm going to cover is the, the brushes and the, the color sets. There are a lot of other things that are new in Procreate 4, but you know, the brushes are, you know, the, the engine of Procreate and they have changed it a lot. So I'm just going to go over the brushes and what I usually paint with is the Kaczynski ink. So I'm going to take that as a sample. And I'm just going to go through the new settings of the brushes. So I'm going to start out with stroke. In the stroke properties, there's just one extra uh, setting and that's fall off. And then you can control the fall off of your uh, brush. The fall off property used to be under dynamics, but now they have moved it to the stroke tab. Then there's shape and well, nothing has changed in shape. The grain hasn't changed. And the big change is in the tab dynamics, because you can already see that there are three different options. There's normal, and there you can just adjust the speed, the jitter of your opacity dynamics and the size dynamics. Glaze, that's the, still uh, the same, but what's new is the wet mix. And I'm very excited about this feature because here you can adjust the pool, how much paint you will pull from your painting. And I'm just going to uh, open up a new layer and just paint in um, some leaves. Just select the color. So this is the um, normal setting. And 
and I'm going to select a lighter color. And now you can select the wet mix and you can change the dilution of your brush. So that's, you will add more water to your brush and you know, it will blend better. And you can also change the charge of your brush. And when you look now, you know, it really blends well. So you can mix your colors on your canvas. And it feels a lot more like, you know, really painting on, on your canvas. And the same uh, things apply to uh, the smudge tool. I never used the smudge tool that much, but now it's a great way if you uh, select the brush and just hold it, it will select the same uh, settings of your painted brush. You see here it's at 38, 41, 4. And you can see the same here when you're using the smudge tool. And you know, what you can do with that is you can really pull your paint. So you can really, you know, blend your colors. And that's a big improvement in uh, the brushes of, of Procreate. You can also use it with the uh, eraser. So that has the same settings. Then we go to pencil and there's a new setting in your Apple pencil uh, pressure settings and that's bleed. And what bleed does, it brings out the structure of your brush. So if you're just going to select a lighter color so you can see it better, just going to reset it first. Um, and then it looks like this. It's very strong. And I'm going to um, adjust the bleed of the brush. I'm just going to undo this. And now you just paint with the structures of your brush. And you can, of course, adjust the, the size of it. So if you really want to only use the structure of your brush and paint with that, then this is a, a great feature. And especially for more uh, graphic work you're doing, this is a, a, a great add-on. Then we go to general. And there's a blend mode for your brushes now. Because you had the blend modes in uh, all the layers and you can change it here. Here you have all the, the settings you can use, you know, for your layer. But now you also have blend modes for your brush. And they're all the same. So if you want to uh, lighten a brush, I'm just going to reset this brush again just to see um, the blend mode in action. So you need to go to uh, your brush, general, and then here you see the blend mode. And you can, you know, change it to multiply, linear burn, color burn. And there are just all the blend modes you can use. There's just one add-on and that's behind, but I'll show that later. So if you, for instance, want to add some shade to your painting, and you can do that on the same layer and you don't have to open up a new layer. You just select your brush, set it to multiply or linear burn and then paint over it. And then you can adjust the value of your painting. And that only works on the layer you're working on because when I'm doing it now and paint over another layer, it won't work. So just a lot of uh, settings you can play around with if you want to add some highlights to your uh, painting. Or uh, just add. And there's one uh, new feature 
and a, a new blend mode and that's in difference here you see normal exclusion difference subtract and behind so if you select behind you can paint behind the shape on your layer I'm just gonna add um, another color set it much bigger and now you can paint behind the thing you have painted which is great but when you um, apply the paint again it will paint behind this paint so you can only use it once so if you want to obscure something you can do it like this and this is how I painted this uh, image of a rose so I first laid down uh, the colors and I'll show you a time lapse of doing this painting so you can see how you can apply the wet mix into your painting style. What's also different is the color palette. There are now three different versions of it. It starts out with the familiar uh, color disc and that's still the same. So you can select your color, your hue, uh, open it up to have even more values of your color but now there's also the classic picker and you can use the sliders to pick your color also the swatches have changed a little bit there's no line around it so you can still select a color but you cannot uh, delete the color first you could just drag it out and that doesn't work anymore you just have to select it and stand on it and then you can delete the color in um, the swatches palette but you know this is uh, the classic slider you can you know find your color with the, the the top slider then the value of your color and the light and darks of your color and next to it is value and these are the HSB sliders you can use so you can select the colors here and here you see the percentage of your uh, color and there's also the RGB sliders and there you can select your colors as well and you can also change the hexadecimal color so if you have a certain color you need to work with then you can just type it in here and here is the palettes and here you can make your own color sets with the swatches and it's now on default and it looks a little bit different uh, there's now a button a blue button around it uh, for which uh, palette is your default and when you just press on set to default and go back to uh, disk classic or value then you know this uh, palette set will be underneath it and you can add colors to it and you can also you know make your own palette and just rename it stave color and then set it as a default and select your colors and then you know make the swatches of your colors so these are um, some of the important things you can change uh, and has changed in Procreate 4 and this is the Procreate 4 public beta so things might change I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more videos about Procreate 4 public beta please let me know in the comments down below. You may also be on the public beta team and please let me know what you think of the new things that are coming to Procreate 4. 
If you're really interested and want to see what's coming to Procreate 4, you can still sign up for the Procreate 4 public beta. And I'll leave a link in the description box down below that will take you to the site of Procreate and there you need to sign up. But not everyone is selected because they only have a limited uh, size of people that can test uh, Procreate 4 public beta. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell because then each time I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.